Six Safe Blind Buys from Saks. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels, your style godfather. And guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about six more safe fragrance blind buys from Saks Fifth Avenue. Like I said in the other blind buy video, blind buying is one of those things that freaks people out because you have to look online for this review or that review. This website, that website. You try to look at what all the reviewers are saying. You ask questions in this group or that group. But at the end of the day, guys, you're gonna just have to pull the trigger and take a chance. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the legwork for you and I picked two stores, Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman Marcus, two stores that carry exclusive lines, niche brands, have exclusive fragrances. And I picked 12 of the safest blind buy fragrances that those two stores carry. Let's get into my six Saks Safe Blind Buys. Shout out to the CIA. One love, FBI. If you want to become part of the movement, make sure you join me on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content. Join me on that platform for things you will only see there. Details down in the description. First up from the House of La Lobo, we have none other than Santal 33. Come on, man. Santal 33, this is a cult classic. This sandalwood based fragrance is very unique because some people think it has a kind of dill pickle kind of opening, but I will tell you this, this is a fragrance. This is a great signature scent and it comes in a killer candle. Hard for anyone to say anything negative about Santal 33. La Lobo starts this list off right and this is probably the safest of the safe blind buys because if you don't like it, guarantee you won't have any problem getting rid of this baby. Next up from Killian, we have none other than Rolling in Love. Rolling in Love has me rolling in compliments. Yep, this almond, this, this sweet kind of almond fragrance, guys, I will tell you, this thing has been a hit since I actually put it on. I've made several videos about it, talked about it so much. I've actually gone through an entire bottle. I'm on my second one because I've sprayed it so much, giving people samples. Another one of these safe blind buys. I put it right up there with like Baccarat Rouge 540 for universal appeal, but this one takes it in a different direction. Killian Rolling in Love will do you right. Next, from bond number nine, we have none other than bond number nine, Signature Scent. I know some of you guys probably thought this was gonna be New York Oud, but nope. We went signature because this is Musk Rose Oud and Iso E, one of the safest, most sensual, sexy fragrances out there. This is a definite safe blind buy and it smells so, so good on men's skin or on women's skin. I wear this all the time. Yes, I love New York Oud because it does something different, but I tell you, this is basically the baseline fragrance or the bond line for me. Bond number nine signature scent is a great safe buy for any season, any reason, any place on the planet. We can't go wrong with this musky, ba this musk based fragrance. Love it. Next up from Armand Jane, we have Armand Jane Man. This just smells like a man should smell. Love this stuff, love this stuff, love this stuff. I think about this fragrance where most people think about green iris tweed. It fits that spot for me and will always be in my collection because it just smells like a spring day and a guy. A spring day and a guy with a little bit of London flair to it, which makes it a safe blind buy. Smells great, people love it, office approved, church approved, inoffensive to almost everybody and spectacular to wear. Armand Jane, Armand Man is fantastic. Another safe blind buy from Dior is Feb Delicios. Yep, Feb Dizzle. Hard to go wrong with this fragrance from Dior. Universally loved, universally respected. It tends to stay on people's most complimented list, especially in the cool weather times of the year, which makes it an exceptionally safe blind buy. This Tonka based fragrance just works. It just works and there's nothing on the market quite like it. Tonka is used in many other things. Heck, it's even used in the Bond fragrance I just talked about. But this one, this one on its own is this spicy, sweeter, but eminently wearable fragrance, which just makes it one of those safe blind buys and a must have as far as I'm concerned. Feb Delicios is a Dior superstar and a safe blind buy. And my last, but certainly not least, safest blind buy from Chanel, Coromandel. Coromandel is probably the safest blind buy of the Le Exclusives line. And there's so many I could have picked from, but this is even more safe than Sycamore, definitely more safe than Boy 1957 Jersey. This is universally loved. I mean, 
just having this in your collection is gonna make you one of the cool kids. And this is one of the best patchoulis on the market. Some people love the EDT like I have. Some people love the EDP. Doesn't matter, all of them work. Coromandel is a masterpiece of perfumery, so you can't go wrong with just having a collection. And it's definitely one of those safe blind buys. You definitely won't have any problems getting rid of if you're one of the three people on the planet that doesn't like it. But I think you'll want to keep it. Oh, Ooh, Chanel does it right. All right, gentlemen, that wraps it up. Six more safe fragrance blind buys, the Saks Fifth Avenue version. And like the other list, approved by me. Godfather out. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.